Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on Android note taking application development with Firebase. So in the last video, we created the anonymous user and we also created, created the logout button and displayed the warning message to the user. In there, we had encountered one problem. So when I click on sync node, it will send me to the register activity and if I click on back button it is sending me directly to the splash screen right so let me uh, show you what I'm talking about here so I'm logging into our, our application now it will redirect me to the main activity now if I click on logout it's going to display this message and if I click on sync node it's going to send me to the fire nodes now if I click on back button it send me to the fire nodes here so we'll fix that later but for now I'm gonna go to the splash.java here and I'll also put one finish method just after this main activity okay so the meaning of finish method is basically that it's going to erase all the cache of the previously open activity so it's going to exit the application if no previously open uh, cache is found okay so basically it won't let user to go back to the activity where he is coming from okay now if I run this application it's going to uh, exit the application when I try to go back from the login activity but uh, we want user to go back to the main activity so we'll implement that later when we actually when we start implementing the register account feature in our application so for now uh, first thing we need to do is we need uh, as I said we have the collection called notes and inside that we are directly saving the notes uh, we ever create that node right so if I create new node it's going to store that into the collection so let me show you what I'm talking about so let's open our application and I'm going to add new node here because now anybody can now the user can add new node because he is already authenticated with anonymous user right so and notes now I'm going to save this and it's going to be displayed in the main activity okay note added and it is uh, displaying somewhere here it is the anon nodes right so whatever the spelling is okay so now uh, there is no way that I can identify this anon note note is created by this anonymous user okay so to identify that I am going to uh, create the hierarchical structure in our database okay so let me go back to the database here and open the console I'll open the firebase console and now here let's go to the database and make few changes or I'm gonna show you what changes that I'm gonna make here okay so we have the notes collection and the note I just created is here right so now there is no way that I can identify this note is created by that particular user okay so let's imagine that we our database have like thousands of user and if we put all the nodes in this same collection here in the nodes collection directly then there is no way that we, we can identify that node is created by the particular user and if we cannot identify the node then we cannot delete it or edit it right so it's not going to let the user perform a specific operation so if any user wants to delete that particular node he cannot do that and other hand he will have access to the all the nodes because every node is present inside the node so if let's imagine we have 1000 user and there is uh, 10,000 nodes then any user that is registered can have access to the all the nodes so now here we need to give the access level now what I want to do is I want to display only those nodes to those user who has created it so only the owner can see the their own nodes and no other nodes are available to the other user okay that is very very important features that we need to implement in our application because we don't want somebody's private node to be appear in the other person's uh, main activity or in the note application okay so to do that i'm going to use the user id so we, when we create the uh, user here i'm going to open this authentication uh, tab here and uh, show you guys that we have uid whenever we create any user okay and uh, currently we have here multiple anonymous user because uh, while testing the application I created few more here so you may have these as well but you can delete it later okay so now uh, to show you guys we have this user UID right so this is the identification of the particular user so if I create new user they, they are going to have some unique user ID so now what I want to do is inside these nodes I want to create one more document uh, using the UID so let me add new document here and I'm gonna copy one of the UID okay this one and I'm gonna paste it here just to show you guys you don't need to do this okay I'm just 
uh, displaying I'm just doing these to uh, make you understand what I'm actually trying to do here okay now uh, after this I'm not going to add anything so this is our new document so save it so this is the new document and this is for the particular user that is this user only okay and now inside this I'm gonna add one more collection called my notes okay so so that we'll be able to uh, query this my notes and here I'm gonna add the some auto ID and that will be the note ID okay so let me go to notes here so now we have this note collection let's ignore all the, uh, all other thing here right now so we have this note collection inside that we have particular user document as a document and inside that we have one more collection called my notes and inside that we have all the notes created by this particular user okay so this is how we are going to specify or save the notes created by the particular user and in our application we are going to uh, first identify which user is logged in using the UID given here so in our application we are going to identify the user using the UID okay so so we'll extract the currently logged in user UID and inside uh, and using that UID we are going to query this my notes data database so we have this particular user here and we'll query this my notes using the this ID and we'll we can get this ID by using the firebase get current user method so I hope you understood what I'm trying to implement next so let's go to the Android studio and start implementing that we don't need to do much uh, modification because we have we have already already written the code to uh, save the data here so we just need to modify that in the add node edit node okay so let's go to the Android Studio. Uh, let me close all of this for now. And I'm gonna open the only the files that we need. So this is the main activity. In the main activity, we are querying the nodes, okay? So let me go here in the Firebase query that we have written. So this is the query that we use to uh, get the data, right? So here we are querying the nodes database. But now what I want to do is I want to query, let me write a comment here, query nodes collection and inside that we will have the document identified by the UID of the user and inside that we have my notes and then we'll query this my notes okay and inside that we'll have the notes inside that we'll have the all the notes okay so we need to actually query the my notes here so I need to modify this code accordingly so now we already have this collection here for the notes now I'm gonna add the document so we need to uh, query the document so the document is identify identified using the user id so we already have the user id uh, object here so i can use the same user object so let me do use that user dot get uid okay now this method will return the id that is specified here in the uh, authentication console that is user UID okay so now inside this uh, user ID we have the collection called my notes so that is collection so collections and my notes make sure uh, these are matching with the collection names so let me go here and uh, check it so we have capital N here so let me go back to the Android studio and change that to the capital N okay now it is, it is going to query only those notes that is created by the currently logged in user so we have that user information in the user here okay this is how we specify the access level in our android application by uh, querying only those nodes that is that user have access to okay so everything else is same we don't need to do anything so now let's go to the other part of our java class java activity here where we have used this query so in the nodes here maybe we are doing some query so uh, okay we are not doing anything let's go to the edit node in edit node we are saving the data right so here we are getting the document reference from the nodes and inside that we are identifying the nodes using the node id so now uh, nodes is present inside the user collection inside the particular users collection so not in the global nodes collection so we need to add the same thing that we added here so let me go here and I'm just going to copy from this dot document and collection here okay this much only let's go to the edit node.java file here and paste that okay so now we don't have this user uh, object created so I'm going to create one so let me do that here if 
Firebase user and user. Now I'll uh, instantiate the object using f auth. Okay, so it will uh, get the current logged in user, and now I can use that user here as well. So wherever that we have, wherever we have written that statement here. Okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, first, we are going to the collection called notes, and inside that we are going to the document called document that is identified by the user ID, and inside that we are querying the my notes collection. And inside that we have the particular document that is identified by the note ID and we'll get that document reference in this doc ref. Now we can edit the note and update the same note that we are trying to edit. Okay. So guys, if this is confusing, let me know. I'm, I'll write the blog post for this by explaining everything in detail. So, so that you will get the um, exact idea of what I'm trying to do here in this video. So let me know in the comment if you want a detailed explanation on this. But for now, uh, let's go and modify one more thing here in the add node because I know here we have added the node inside the nodes collection. So we also need to make the same changes here. So add, paste the node and we don't have this user. So let's create the user. Fire this user. And here. User using the firebase auth class dot get instance dot get current user okay okay now the error is resolved and now i'm going to go to the database here and clean everything up okay so we have all these users and everything here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete all these users as well as i'm going to delete these uh, documents here what we have so that uh, we'll be able to make the new changes and you'll be able to see that okay so let's go to the application here okay so from here i'm going to delete all the nodes so let me delete it okay you can see the changes in real time here as well that is how this thing work okay delete it delete it okay so it's going to crash it's okay uh i'm gonna delete uh delete all these things here so let me delete the collections now we need to write the name here so paste it and delete so in the data fire notes i'm going to delete all these users okay we don't have we don't have anything right now so let me go back to the application open the application now it's going to create the new anonymous user okay so we don't have anything here right now just like that now if I go back here and refresh this it's going to create the new anonymous user you uh, we needed to log out from our application before we actually del deleting the data from here user from here so I'm gonna uninstall this application and reinstall again and it will fix the problem okay okay now we are uh, logged into the temporary account and if I go here and we have this anonymous user right now okay so let me go and try logging out from here because I don't think it is working. So log out. Okay, it is working. So yeah, logged into the temporary account and we should have only one anonymous, anonymous user here. So let me refresh this. Okay, we have only one and th this is created right now and we have the user ID, okay? And uh, in the database here, we don't have anything right now. Let me refresh this to show you because we have deleted all the uh, notes collections and everything and now in our applications I'm going to create the new note and it's going to add all the things that I described before that it's going to create the notes here as a new collections and inside that we'll have the documents I did uh, which will have the ID of user ID UID and inside that we'll have another document uh, another collections called my notes and inside that we'll have that particular note we have created in the application. I'm gonna add the new collections, sorry, I'm gonna add the new notes here and it should create the notes and the documents specific for the user and the my notes collections as well as the new note. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me save this now and we will see what happens. 
so it should work as expected but if not we'll find out okay so this is this the, the content of the notes all right now if i click on this i can go to the edit and so on but the main thing important thing is here it should display here in the uh, specified hierarchy that we have uh, created in the android application so let me refresh this okay we have the notes collections and now we have these new documents and inside that we have this my notes so make sure that uh, so it this id here document id should be identical to the the user id that we have here and that is same as it is displayed here because dve you can see and inside that we have my notes right so my notes and we have this new node now this is the node id and inside that we have the content of the notes and everything so now in the uh, main activity here it is displaying only one notes and this is only for this particular user so anybody who create new account in our applications won't be able to see this because this note is only available to this particular user okay so this is how we add the uh, documents and collection in database according to the user and and specify the access level for the particular user now in the next part i'm going to authenticate user using email and password and connect them to the anonymous user anonymous account that means if anybody wants to sync their notes in the database then they need to provide email and password so we'll implement that in the next video and we will link this uh, anonymous user account with this new real account using the firebase uh, method called link with account or link with credential okay so all that we'll do in the next part so like and subscribe this video if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so share this in the social media and i will see you in the next video